Every once in a while, I choose not to do a community concerns video for the week because there isn't anything that the community is concerned about. I did muddle through this one. I will be honest with you. It's a little bit weak, but I hope you enjoy it anyways. Hello, YouTubers. This is Anubafar. I started this playlist and series called Community Concerns because I have more time to research. If you missed past week's installments, they're put into a playlist that can be started much like a podcast. When you're evaluating if you should actually spend $4,600 on a new Canon lens and... Spoiler alert, money well wasted. Consider bookmarking it and checking in every once in a while to get caught up to date with what the community is talking about. And if you find it fun and funny, please do me a favor and share it with a friend or orgmate. I do find value in combing through Spectrum with my bullshit deflectors set to maximum. And I do it so that you don't have to. Today is the 23rd of May, 2023. I try to do these on Tuesdays, choosing topics that are well presented and have a good banter back and forth. We begin with the threats. The e Paldron is asking for some clarity from CIG. If you did not notice, Squadron 42 had been removed from the store when everything swapped over for Invictus. The OP said that this made many backers nervous. That's not quantifiable. You can't just say that. They, the OP, said that some think that this means that Squadron 42 has been cancelled, which I find possible. That's not likely. And the OP then said that there might be a price hike. Uh, the OP wants to know what it all means. I'll tell you exactly what I think it means. Either it was a tiny fuck up in the store swap over and it'll be back soon. Or as the OP said, perhaps it's going to come back later at a slightly higher price. Does this mean it's coming out now? No. Does it mean it's not coming out? No, but you can believe whatever you like. I don't think that this is any indication that Squadron 42 is coming out now. But there is this thing that Chris likes to do called shaking the tree. You shake the tree to see how many monkeys you can get to fall out of it. My grandmother's from South Africa. Don't be offended by this. This was just something that she said when I was growing up, okay? So the issue with shaking monkeys out of a tree is timing. Personally, I think the first time I would like to hear about the launch of Squadron 42 is when the little tab on the launcher changes to say Squadron 42. And this is because the delays and bullshit for Squadron isn't just laughable or a simple meme. It is a constant reminder of how people in the past at CIG really had no clue about timelines. Backers can sit there watching all of what's being said, the body language, the progress, the teasers, and the vertical slices. None of that has ever indicated anything to date. It's all been smoke and mirrors. So the best way to miss another deadline is to announce a deadline. That's what's been done for the past four years, and as critical as I am about it often, I actually do agree that this is the best way to deal with the super sensitive release. Whatever happens, they can't miss another release date, right? That's just crazy. So there's no need to hype it. If it launches and launches well, like we hope and know it will, nobody's going to need to advertise anything. Star Citizen to an outsider is a scam. So if people start telling each other that it isn't a scam and that it wasn't, people are going to buy it and they're going to play it, especially if it's good. Give me your comments in the comments for what it's worth. Do you think that this was just lost in the shuffle or do you think that this is pre-hype? Do you agree that there's no reason to hype the release as the risk that once again the project could miss a deadline might become the biggest joke in gaming history? Next, Frost X Wolf X announced that the surfers are going to shit. I'm like, yeah, thanks tips. They want CIG to fix, but I'm going to say to the OP that it's obvious that CIG had no idea that the servers were busted, right? Okay, but we carry on. There's one thing that you can count on, and that is when CIG releases a free fly, the game will suffer. If you find that to be a problem, could simply not play it and be sure not to invite anyone during the free fly if it bothers you. If you're having fun and you like it, then invite your friends and play it and hope for the best. And that's it. That post was nothing more than an announcement from Frost X Wolf X. So we move on. Next. Alpina7 said, despite having to spend time server hopping 28 times, they were able to play with stability when 319 launched. And then after Friday, they weren't able to do anything beyond looking at the menu. And despite this, they don't understand why people are complaining on Spectrum. They asked us to remember that this is part of the process, and they said to the developers to just ignore all the negativity that's being posted on Spectrum. The OP is proud to be a backer, and they're grateful for Chris Roberts. On the surface, this was a very nice post. It was a little bit white nighty for my tastes, and some people accused <laughs> the OP of actually being Chris Roberts incognito posting, which was kind of funny. But I do understand that they are trying to offset the negatives in Spectrum with a positive comment. The thread degraded as the OP then took an active role fighting with anyone or anything that wasn't 100% positive. 
Gray6 posted that if the OP thinks this is great, they should have been around for the 2.6 and its sub-patches. Overall, I can't really tell if the OP was being sincere or trolling, but I found the conversation back and forth to at least be very entertaining. What say you? Do you agree with the OP? Next. Mickle11 said that they want the backlog of ships to be addressed before more ships come out. And I won't even tell you what the discussion was after that, because I agree that that is the correct way of thinking about it. But they said, let's balance what we have. They said, let's finish the mechanics that we need. 100% on board with that as an overall concept. The OP joined in 2020, so I'm just going to say that it should be fairly obvious that backers tend to pay for new ships more than buying old ones. And you could say that if, for example, they were to launch the Santo Kai and then put it on sale, that some people would buy it. But then we need to consider that when CIG releases a new ship that has a war bond option, that actually pays the bills. And that's what we need to keep the fires burning. So I'm split on this. No new ships equals no game development. It's really quite as simple as that. Yes, it's obvious. We've been waiting for the Polaris for like eight years, seven years. It'd be nice to see it in engine, but it would also be nice for the company to not go bankrupt. So I don't know what to tell you. That's it. It's a super week show. I'm done for the week. This is what Spectrum's worried about right now. Comment on this or anything. Thanks for your support. I would love you to post this wherever it makes sense so others can share, fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.